Hello everyone and welcome to another indie horror game. And again, welcome back to Midnight Scenes, this time for episode 2. Now, much like episode 1, The Highway, this is also going to be a 2D pixelated point-and-click adventure, heavily inspired by The Twilight Zone. Hope you enjoy it. Check down below in the description if you want to try this for yourselves, by the way. So, a, a new cast of characters, I guess. A completely new story. Richard says, Madison, my love, I'm afraid there's not much time left for me. If I had known that our goodbye at the airport was to be our last, I would have told you everything. I hope this note will reach you someday. That would mean my fears are unfounded. I'll be gone just a few days, Madison. A week at most, I promise. I just don't understand why... Why is this work meeting so pressing? I mean, making you cross the country, out of the blue, with almost no notice. We were supposed to be visiting Dad at the lake this weekend. You know I wouldn't go if it wasn't important. That gas leak in the lab last night, it's put everyone on edge. You told me it was nothing. Should I be worried? No. It was just... It was only a small accident. Everything's under control. They just need me to do some paperwork. You know how these things are. I'll call you as soon as I get to Washington, okay? No. Oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, yeah, pretty sure that the only control in this game is with the mouse cursor. So let's see. Also, it's got—I don't know if you can see this on the video, but it's got the sort of old TV border in the corner, as you can see it sort of curving in a bit, which is quite nice. Um, right. So let's see. Should we talk to the plane hostess? Yeah. Good evening, sir. May I see your ticket, please? Yes. Uh. Where did I put it? Richard, here! Uh, oh, <laughs> that must be it, right? It fell from your pocket. My love, you've been distracted all day. Is there something worrying you? Everything's fine, my dear. I have to go now or I'll be late. I love you. And there you go. So I've got the four inventory slots here. So I've got the plane ticket. So there you go. Here it is. Thank you, sir. Have a nice flight. Will do. Right. See ya. Hmm. The goodbye note, I see. Cool. Alright. So let's see. What are we doing here? 1A. I'm not sure that's my seat. Can I have a look at the plane ticket? Oh, I can. Brilliant. Okay. Seat 5A. Yep. Okay. Let's keep going then. 3, 4. This one's for me. Nice. Excuse me, sir. Let me help you put your suitcase in the overhead compartment. No, thank you. I'll carry it with me. I'm sorry, sir. The regulations... It'll stay with me. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> Just shrug it off, yeah. Yeah, that story that I told. Madison. I'm not buying it. Taking this plane was a mistake. I trapped myself. Oh, that's great. I don't know if you can see this on the video, but there's like invisible wires moving the plane around. That's really cool. That's a nice touch. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, we're crossing a thunderstorm and may experience some turbulence. Please remain seated with your belts fastened. Your wine, sir. It's the guy behind me. Yeah. Oh, I, <laughs> I'm not played by William Shatner, am I? There is... Something on the wing. <laughs> Can lightning make a plane explode, Mum? Just try and sleep, dear. <laughs> I mean, I guess, right? In theory. Oh, shit. What? No, no, no! <laughs> I wonder if this guy's familiar with the Langoliers. No! Leave me alone! What have you done to all these people? You'll never get the Elysian while I'm alive, you hear me? Never. The Elysian? Alright. My head is spinning so fast right now. You might be wondering the real reason I got in this plane. Yeah, really. What's in the suitcase? Yeah, you knew I was hiding something. <sighs> it all started last night. In the lab. Nice. 
Okay, I, I like the way he's telling the story, actually. Uh, sorry it's so late, honey. I had to review this long checklist before calling it a day, but I'm on my way now. No, I don't think I'll go to Colin's party now. I don't even have a present for him. And you know, nobody will miss me anyway. Go to bed. I'll be home soon. Hello? Who's there? What was that noise? It came from the control station. Which I suppose is to my left. Okay, let's see. Can we interact with any of this? Well, there's a computer here. My ON200 computer. 120,000 instructions per second. Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's go have a look at this noise, shall we? Oh, Coleman. The guy that's having the party, I guess that makes sense. What a mess. Hmm. I'm sure it'll be cleared up by the morning. What was that? Switch. Oh, a light switch. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I want to go this way then, don't I? Hello? Is that another switch? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Linda! You scared me to death! I thought you were at Coleman's party with everyone else. Oh, Richard. Thank God you're still here. We might have a problem. I think the clean room might be compromised. Wait, what? What happened? I was doing maintenance on the main console when I heard noises coming from the roof. Listen. Yeah, there's definitely something. Did you hear it? We might have a small animal trapped in the vents. But that's impossible! The whole area is sealed! Is it though? Doesn't sound like it. Damn. Do you think it might be a rat? A bird? Anything from outside the sealed unit would be enough to contaminate the whole air system and ruin months of research. I'd better get to the clean room and make sure the Elysian is safe. Yes, good idea. Right, the clean room. That was right next to the control room, wasn't it? Oh, uh, uh, we should be able to unlock the clean room doors from this console, but Coleman is the only one who knows how this thing works. Let's take a look. Oh, okay. Uh, we need to use the correct combination of keys to enable the console. Coleman keeps a list of co- Oh, okay. Uh, maybe we should have another look at the his desk. I'll wait here while you find it. Please, hurry up. Okay. So it's a- it's a- A four-direction combination, I suppose. Right, okay, yep. Yeah, we do, we do. Let's let's head back and let's go back to his desk, shall we? Uh yeah. Can we do something now? It's not just Yes. I'm sure everyone's having a great time at the party. I'm probably the only guy I know who'd rather spend the night working than attending any kind of social event. Right, the keyboard. Oh. How can I help you? Uh, experiment zero files. Or games, really? There's a game within a game, possibly? Why? Uh, yes, why? Please. Ah! No fun allowed down here. Uh, what about the experiment zero files, though? Hmm, okay, classified. Fair enough, fair enough. Can't use these buttons or the knobs or anything. Right, it's probably not here, then. Can we... Okay, open the drawer, yeah. What's this? Notebook. Ah. Oh, okay, yeah, this this looks right. Hmm. Okay. Did it say... It said something October, right? So, right down, up left. Let me just check. I think it was October. It's October, okay, so yeah. Right down, up left. Okay. You got the codes? Well, let's find out. Right. Down. Up. Left. Hey, there you go. Done. Real impressive, Richard. <laughs> kind of. Okay, the doors are open. I'm going in. Hmm. Okay. That looks in, does it? Nothing looks out of place from here. I better go inside and take a look. Okay. Uh... I'll see you later, Linda. Uh, 
Hazmat suit? I know it's restricted access, but if you need any help hunting rats, I'm sure I can fit into one of those suits. I, I don't think... The regulations... Just kidding. I know you have a phobia when it comes to breaking rules. I'll be watching from the control station. Right, okay. Anyway, yeah. Let's put on one of these clean suits. <laughs> I love the little animations in this, it's great. Uh, okay. Let's go in. <sighs> okay, here we go. <laughs> I turn on the comm system, shout if you need anything. Hey Linda, could you increase the temperature a bit? It's freezing in here. I'm on it. Yeah, was that 14 Fahrenheit? That's pretty damn cold, actually. Much better. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Give her a little wave. Hi, Linda. Did you find any rats yet? No. No, I didn't. Right. Secure compartment. Go on. That's where we keep the Elysian. What is the Elysian? And why have I heard of the Elysian before? Is it another game or a, a, a novel or something, I think? Okay, we've got a box here and a vent. Let's have a look at the box. I better leave this alone. I wouldn't want to break the refrigeration system. No. But I guess you're okay with changing the temperature. I'm not hearing those noises anymore. Whatever it was, it's probably gone now. Are you sure? I'm not seeing anything that raises cause for concern. But just to be safe, I'll ask the maintenance team to replace the filters tomorrow. Better safe than sorry. Hmm. And that's it. That's that's the extent of the clean room, it seems. So, I think I've taken a look at everything, haven't I? There's the camera up there, the door. You can see her in the control station. Yeah, uh, do we just leave? Yeah, okay. I think we can officially declare this is a false alarm. Everything looks normal here. Linda, I'm done here. You can open the door. Okay, I think you should check the Elysian. Make sure it's intact. I really don't think it's necessary. Everything's fine. Besides, I'd rather not open the secure compartment if it's not absolutely crucial. You know how much that thing creeps me out. Richard, I'd do it for you, but you're the only person with fingerprint access. We both heard the noises. We don't want any surprises. Ah, fine. She's probably right. So let's tackle this. That's it then. The Elysian. The reason behind all the secrecy surrounding my job at the lab and my many sleepless nights. It was found in Antarctica a month ago, and all our studies have been inconclusive so far. It wasn't made by human hands, but I fear it was created with humans in mind. Whatever it is, it doesn't belong on Earth, that's for sure. I knew it couldn't hurt anyone if we kept it in the lab under strict control, but it's not safe anymore. Its creators finally found it, and they want it back. Everything okay in there? No signs of contamination as far as I can see. Alright. So we just leave it, do we? Okay, yep, let's, let's head back. Close it up somehow. Do we use the box or no? J oh shit. What's happening? Linda? Check out the window. Go on. Linda? Can you hear me? Where's Linda? What have you done to her? What was that? What do you want? You came for this thing, right? What is it? What are you going to do with it? Oh dear. Oh boy. The temperature's dropping. That thing wants me to freeze to death. The suit will keep me warm for a few minutes, but it won't hold out for long. I've got to do something quick. I was terrified, blinded by fear. That creature tricked us into opening the secure compartment to get the Elysian. 
With Linda most likely dead, I felt the fate of all humankind rested on my shoulders. So in the end, I did the only thing I could do, even if it was ultimately foolhardy and pointless. I found the strength somewhere inside to escape the lab with the Elysian and run. Okay, so we're going to want the Elysian, yeah? Right, so we've got it. Fantastic. Uh, do we just... No, emergency system, lock the door. Let's try the vent then. Let's try the vent. That's probably why it's there. Okay, uh, well, there's a screw. A big one. It's screwed. I, I, yeah, I, I need to open it. Okay, yeah. Um, unless we use the Elysian to turn it? Probably not, though. What about the box? Okay. This sensor controls the refrigeration system. I need to find a way to disable it before I freeze to death. Okay. Screw oh, screwdriver. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Nice. Okay, we have a large screw. Fantastic. No, okay, I would still freeze to death. I can't escape. I actually do have to deal with this refrigeration stuff. Uh huh. How? Red wire? Alright. Detaching the cables didn't do anything. I need to find a way to break or short circuit the refrigeration system. Uh, is that why we've got the screw? Yep, should be conductive, and it's long enough to connect the ends of both cables. Right. Nice. Okay. I'm not going to freeze to death. Probably still can't get through that door. Now let's try and use the vent. Okay, yeah, let's get out of here. All right. What's this? So you're the one who is making a racket in here. You're not a rat after all. It's a little toy robot, a little wind-up robot. But why the hell were you thrown in the vents? Hmm. I don't think I can pick up any pieces of the robot. I think we're just going to say back and keep on going. This is pretty cool, this one. Well, I at least make it to the plane, right? So... Damn. Yeah, I make it to the plane. I know I get at least that far. Go on. De oh, yeah. Nicely done. I should take the suit off. I can barely move. But first, I need to find somewhere safe to put the Elysian. I'm not touching it with my bare hands. Okay. We've got suitcases here. Of course, I had a suitcase, didn't I? So, yeah. Lead-coated suitcases. They're perfect for carrying dangerous materials safely. At least for a few hours. Uh, there you go. Ideal. Alright, I've got it. Uh, which way do we go? Which door? Okay, yeah. Looks like we're going this way. Linda's car? What the hell happened here? Oh, yeah. Scratch marks on the seat. Some, yeah, some glasses down there as well. Keys in the ignition. She tried, but mm, didn't work. Keep going. Right, my car. I spent the night in a motel. I didn't dare risk going back home and exposing you to this nightmare. That's why I lied to you about the unexpected gas leak in the lab that would keep me busy all night. My superior in Washington told me to take a plane and bring the Elysian to our headquarters. He thought it would be safe there. <laughs> Back to the plane hanging by wires, I love it. But in the end, it was all for nothing. I was trapped inside this airplane and I had to find a way to avoid the Elysian falling into that creature's hands. So, cut back to the, the present, sort of. Or the first flashback. Yeah. Come on! You want the Elysian? Then come and get it! You'll have to kill me like you did Linda and all the passengers on this plane. I can't allow the Elysian to fall into that creature's hands. I need to find the... Yep, I need to find the way to get off the plane. Okay, yep, sure. Uh, let's see. Got anything up in the sort of luggage compartment up here? I don't think so. Got a cabinet right at the back. What's in the cabinet? An extinguisher. Yep, okay. That's going to come in handy. 
Okay. Everyone's gone but me. How very strange. Wait, up here. Ah, yes. What is that? I see a handle. An umbrella. Okay, yeah, it's an umbrella. Is that it? I think that's it. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, <laughs> just trying the door. I probably shouldn't, right? Nothing in that box. The cockpit, yeah. Is somebody there? Hello? The radio. I can hear the radio. I need to get in there and call for help. Right. Locked, of course. Um. Yeah, smash through the window. Can't reach it. Ah, is that why we have an umbrella? It is! Hey, okay. <laughs> Fairly simple puzzles. Uh, oh my god, it's flying on its own. That creature must be controlling it somehow. Yeah, the pilots, much like the passengers, have just vanished. Hang on a minute, we've got a parachute. Oh, bloody hell. Hello? Is anybody there? I need help. Hello? Damn, it's broken. Of course it is. I'm not seeing anything else to interact with, and I probably wouldn't know what I'd be doing here anyway. Let's just go. I've got a parachute, right? So we probably, probably want to use the door, but... Uh, Let's grab the suitcase. Or not. Okay, well, let's try the door. Okay, I've got a parachute. Let's do this. The Elysian! I can't leave without it! Well, that's why I went and <laughs> I tried to pick it up for you. At least he realized, right? Okay. So, do you know how to use a parachute? Whoa. Wow, okay. I think I just got knocked the fuck out. What? I didn't get sucked out. I'm still here. What the? Outside? It it landed with the landing gear as well. No damage to the plane. It was a nice controlled landing. What the hell? Ouch. Yeah. Ah. Is this sand or probably snow, right? Antarctica? It's still there. Here's what you wanted! Just come and get it! Come on. Do what you have to do. I don't care. I can't do this anymore. I guess this is how it ends. And this is where he's writing the note. I see. Madison, my love. I don't know how to explain all this in just a few words. I'm afraid there's not much time left for me. I thought I would be safe by now. And so on and so forth, I suppose. Li yeah, it's Linda. Linda? Oh my god, your face! Her white eyes. Hell- Oh, damn, okay. Hello, Richard. I'm such a fool. It was you from the beginning. Yes. She wanted me to use my fingerprint access to get in. Please, I beg you, just tell me what it- Just tell me what that thing is. I, I need to know. Such a fascinating work of engineering, don't you think? It's been our eyes and ears here on Earth for more than a century now. Until you locked it in that stupid sealed room, blocking its transmission. Now that it's working again, you'll have some really interesting neighbours very soon. No. Oh! Here they come. No. Please. Linda. Cheer up, Richard. Your new life starts now. Even pixelated, that looked pretty creepy, seeing, you know, her skin melting away. Sorry, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Are you okay? It's the third time I've asked you if you want honey on your cereal. Is something wrong? I'm fine, don't In fact, I'm feeling great this morning. Quite energized, and I dare say <laughs> happy. Hmm, something's fucked up here, okay. Invasion of the body snatchers kind of uh, kind of deal, maybe? 
That toy robot, that was foreshadowing, wasn't it? The quarterns, the curtains, yep. I think today will be... A great day. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. That is a very Twilight Zone kind of ending as well. That was the goodbye note. That was episode two of Midnight Scenes. And much like the first one, I really enjoyed that. Octavio Navarro, very well done. I uh, I like the music. I like the story. I like how it all looks. I, I really did like the, uh, the, the wires on the plane. That's a very nice touch. Because if you do go back to the sort of 50s and 60s, you know, props and stuff, all held by invisible wires. You can see them if you look closely enough, especially in, like, HD and stuff. It's crazy. Uh, but, yeah, no, that was, that was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you back in another video very soon. I'll call you as soon as I get to Washington, okay? Aw. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> Just shrug it off, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. I don't know if you can see this on the video, but there's like invisible wires moving the plane around. That's really cool. Yes, why? Please. Ah! Do we use the box or no? The Elysian! I can't leave without it! Well, that's why I went and <laughs> I tried to pick it up for you. Her white eyes. Hell- Oh, damn, okay.